Oh, uh, this is like the third time trying this video. And, um, so I wanted to go over some old uh, Agco advertising and a little bit of IH. Um, so anyway, we'll start right here by, um, this cock shut sign. I 3D printed it. Uh, this one go on the display, which you gotta watch the last video, uh, to see that. And for some reason, it's bowed. I don't know why, but, uh... And maybe the dealership would have been old cock shut, so it might get laid beside the building or something. And then the rest of these signs, all but the one on the end, um, I cut out of uh, the boxes from the toys. Uh, like this one, it came out of the box for the 2-105. And I just cut it out, glued it to some styrene. Uh, might put it on the display or something, you know. Uh, small ass chimers one here from the D21 box I cut out. I made a nice little sign, you know, like put out by the road or something, you know. Uh, it's only one sided though, but it's so cool, cool little sign. Same way with this, I cut this out of the white box, cut this out of the all over box, and uh, it's it's only one sided, but you know, it's still a pretty cool sign, I think. Now, this one right here is probably my favorite. Um, big old double sided uh, keystone sign here real tall uh i should have put the legs a little bit closer but it's fine and it is double sided and that one it'll probably go out by the road like that or something or on the corner and then this one uh i 3d printed the signs and painted them they didn't come out the best but they're there um i don't know what i'm gonna do with that it's 21 sided some other oh i made this one today i printed them out and this sign is for sale it says some styrene double sided uh it's uh ten dollars ship to you uh ten dollars you so uh i mean there's not much to it but uh ten there's my time and ink for the printer and everything like that so that one there is for sale now some real all over advertising uh printed these off uh and you'll, you'll find out in Oh, about three weeks, you're going to find out why I printed these off. Um, for uh, two reasons, actually. Um, st the stubble mulcher there. Uh, I'm not, not really going to go too into depth what I'm doing. But um, uh, this is for the uh, 448 stubble mulcher. Uh, I guess you could have got a uh, 16, 18, or 20 foot. It'd probably take a 2255 to pull a 20 foot, maybe. Or, well, maybe not. I guess it doesn't, look, it doesn't go that deep. Okay, so. It almost looks like it'd go deep as a deep ripper, but maybe not. It says stubble mulch, so maybe it just picks up the stubble. That looks there like it's a 16 foot, probably. It might be an 18 foot. Um, I printed that off. Up here we got the 248 chisel plow. No, I didn't really understand this. Wing type and rigid type. Uh, you know what that means comment below because I'm not really too sure kind of have an idea, but I'm not not too sure um, And then the, obviously the cultivator there um, And it says up there this come from Narges implement all over farm implements uh, Wherever that was um, and I'll show you this other one here This one here is for a stock stock chopper um or mulcher, whatever you call it. Um, so, a couple different ones here. Uh, you can pause the video if you want to stop and read it. There. And, uh, like I said, you'll be finding out what these are for in the near future. About three weeks, I'd say. Uh, I don't want to spill the beans too early. So, uh, stay tuned. There's also going to be something else coming out. I haven't printed the picture yet. Or printed off a thing. I actually I'm buying the uh, manual to it from eBay uh, because I, I don't know anyone with the uh, piece I'm um, uh, need that I can uh, get measurements and stuff like that off. Which you can get measurements off of picture anyway, but um, I can I can get it. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more.